Hello guys, Unknown Gamer here, and today's video we're going to be uh, talking about Activision's tedious antics again. Honestly, Activision, uh, Activision are my most hated companies that I've ever witnessed. Honestly, I hate Activision. Like they ruined my favorite franchise, and and what else could they do to fuck up everything? You know, especially like Destiny 2 and. Yeah, Activision and EA and all them lot are just not going down a good road. I mean, it, they've been doing so much. I mean, I guess they're ruining, you know, Diablo and all that stuff. What else going to do? They're going to fucking rip us, off, rip us off again. And what they're doing this time, you say, they are basically... Now, right, this is going to be a bit of, you know, it's going to be a bit hard to explain because obviously I'm really shit explaining, but let's do it anyway. Black Ops 4, and Black Ops 4 is a game made by, made by Activision, and obviously it's a part of the Call of Duty franchise, so everyone knows what it is, and what they're, what they're doing this time, you say, I mean, you know, they've got good sales on the game, well, except for the investors not being happy about it, you know, they have good sales, and, you know, obviously, everything's going well, and what, what's happening this time? You say, I mean, obviously, we may have a you know, may have controversy about the whole tier system and you know how scummy that is and how much money you have to pay just to get everything in the game. What is it now? I mean, uh, you know, Activision are not being under fire right now, but they are being under fire again by the Call of Duty community. Well, it's a whole other thing altogether. What they're doing now is they're selling pre you know. Exclusive, you know, pre-orders, you know, pre-order exclusives like weapon skins and all that to the black market. So, if you felt special of owning these skins for your weapons or whatever, guess what? There was no point in getting the pre-order edition. Well, if you want the season pass, but there was no point in getting that, and you don't feel special for owning that skin. That's basically taking the thing off you and selling it again. If you, if you get my meaning, it's basically, as Optimus has put it, you know, someone robbed your house, you know, took everything, your TV and everything like that, and sold it back to you. Imagine how pissed you'll be. <laughs> and that's the one thing that I just despise about Activision. They just do stupid shit all the time, and it just makes everything worse. I mean, why don't you just go back to the, you know, the way Black Ops, you know, you know, way Black Ops 2 did it. You know, just buy the skins. Or some shit. I mean, this tier system, you're just trying to find ways to fucking, you know, make more money off consumers. I mean, the whole thing is a rip-off. You need to pay to get orders. You need to get, you know, you need to pay to get, like, special missions or whatever, you know, with the whole COD point system. And now you're just going to sell pre-ordered skins. That's better, again basically taking the money off you know the, the, you know, well, taking the item off the consumer and reselling it well obviously you still have the skin probably but again it's fucking annoying to have companies like this ruin the face of gaming honestly just they just want these games are now becoming too monetized like heavy and you know this is why i respect companies like rockstar they don't f do this shit. Obviously, they did like microtransactions with GTA Online, but I think that's kind of justified. Obviously, I mean, obviously, they found a big business opportunity that they could go invest in. But now, they show us games like Red Dead Redemption, and they did now they still show us that they still have creative talent. And you know, obviously, it's I mean, Take Two and all that. But Activision and like EA and all them lot don't get any respect at all. I do not respect them. They don't put any creativity into games all they care about is the profit 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 they just don't care what you think or do they just put the fucking thing out and hope it fucking sticks and this is the thing that drives me crazy obviously them selling pre or exclusives for the pre-order edition I guess that will piss some people off because that was supposed to be exclusive to you obviously that's the item that you paid for now anyone can buy it off the shelves, and obviously make more. You know, Activision's gonna make more money off that if you know people are even bothered buying it. 
and honestly now it's just turned into a whole mess of what they're gonna do next are they gonna do something even more stupid and honestly these companies like EA and Activision just need to go honestly but obviously they're not gonna go because they still have like the biggest game titles like FIFA and Call of Duty or something like that you know EA with FIFA Activision with Call of Duty whatever but <coughs> honestly it's been an absolute pain this year for these companies EA especially been doing very very bad Oh, Jesus Christ. It never ends. It just never ends. And guys, uh, I'm going to end the video here. I'm sorry it was very short. But, you know, it's just, it's just one of these things about these companies just constantly trying to monetize and get little pennies out of people as soon as possible. And it just pisses me off. It feels like the, it feels like the calling us stupid, basically. And it just drives me crazy. Um... And guys, I'm going to end the video here. I know this video is probably very short. Well, actually, it's not like seven video minutes anyway, but, you know, whatever. So, guys, you know, leave a like on the video if you liked it. You know, put your thoughts and your opinions in the comment section down below. And subscribe for more content. And uh, also, I never really say this, follow me on Twitter. I have a Twitter. It's in the description, like always. And obviously, feel free to subscribe. That's it. <laughs> Make sure past T series. <laughs> so guys you know I'll see you in the next episode well or next video and I'll see you then.